Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane Ian, I'm a comedy musician and a comedy music fan, and this week I'm reacting to a new video from a friend of mine, actually, Mr. Jake Dewar here in Chicago. He's a comedy musician here, does comedy songs in a lot of different styles, and he's going to be one of the performers on an album that I'm producing. I am producing a tribute album to Ninja Sex Party and that is coming out soon. The Kickstarter is running now until February 13th. Uh, as of the recording of this, we have 10 days left. Uh, by the time this goes out, we're probably gonna have maybe about eight or so. Uh, and we're currently at the recording, 33% funded, so we can definitely use some more support on this. It's a collection of a lot of comedy musicians and geek rock internet performers uh, doing cover songs of Ninja Sex Party. Jake is one of them. He's covering the song Cookies on the album. He does a lot of songs in a lot of different styles. And one of the songs that we're looking at now is from his newest album. And the song is called Your House. And it is a boy band style song. A boy band pastiche. So we're going to check that out. Uh, again, like I said, full disclosure, Jake's a friend of mine. So we're going to check this out. I like that he himself is his own backup dancer. Oh, yeah. His dance skills are almost as good as mine. Baby, you know you drive me insane, and I've been searching for you in the pouring rain. I just wanna lay beside you, but it's getting hard to find you. I love his choreography. Everybody's in sync. Unintentional pun. But uh, yeah, no, it looks good, and it's got the same, same kind of style, sound, that the Backstreet Boys do. Uh, it, more specifically, the Backstreet Boys, I think, than, than just a generic boy band kind of thing. Uh, although there's only three of him, instead of... I had three in mind. I did a, a uh, boy band pastiche myself, which you, you can probably hear at the end of the, this video. But uh, yeah, no, uh, again, this is a particular style that I'm familiar with doing myself, and I, I he's get hitting all the earmarks. That's the thing I like about pastiches. Instead of direct parodies, where you're parodying a specifically direct song, a pastiche will just kind of ape the style of an artist, and you really want it to pull all the earmarks of that particular artist. And, you know, you've got your, your boy band harmonies, you've got the odd choreography, the weird outfits that they're wearing, like the one with him in the denim jacket and the hat that's off in the, the top corner there. Yeah, he's, you know, he's hitting all the, the visual earmarks and the audio earmarks to make this a good pastiche. Now, I will say that he obviously was filming something live, the street, you know, because he's singing about the house, and, uh, but every so often you can see that it's clearly green screened just a static shot of him dancing on a green screen that inserting because otherwise he, he's not jamie madrox he's not multiple man to duplicate himself like that but still it's kind of fun so he's trying to find her but he doesn't know which house is hers I will say, uh, and this is a note that I have problems with myself when I do a green screen, it's not entirely a clean plate, so you can see the green screen uh, behind his duplicates on the floor. I have the same problem. I, I did another music video that I used a lot of green screen for. That green screen, in fact. And uh, uh, it just sometimes keying out stuff, if it's got wrinkles in it, it, ha it becomes a problem, especially if you have it lit a certain way where the wrinkles cast shadow. Um, but it's a thing that we all run into, especially us amateurs. So it's, you know, it's going to happen. But I do love this. The song title makes sense now. It starts out as like your typical boy band ballad about how much he loves the girl and is always trying to see her, but he doesn't know which house is hers. It's great. It's a little almost peeping Tomish, but I think that's also part of the joke. I'm just gonna have to make a guess Because your place is not located on my GPS Well, it makes no lack of sense There's your place of residence So I'm incredibly frustrated by the awkward situation The awkward situation. 
that dance is awkward. But that's the point. Again, that's where the humor comes in. It's because he doesn't look like a typical boy band guy. Neither do I. Uh, you know, that's, that's kind of the fun behind it, you know? You're going to make it look awkward. It's going to be awkward because sometimes with boy band singer out, is kind of creepy. I dig this. I dig this a lot. He's so tall, too. He almost seems like he's ducking. <laughs> I dig the beat. Baby, you said you were in the house that was green, but that's what every house here looks Cut to the green screen. Baby, which do you mean? It's got some windows and doors, a chimney roof and a floor. Oh, baby, when I... There was one moment where he reached for the roof and his hand got cut off because he reached past where the green screen was. I do that a lot in my videos. Uh, I, I didn't even use a green screen, I just use split screen in my video for uh, Summertime Jam, and you lose half of my body, and it, like my arm gets cut off and a whole bunch of stuff in, in one of the split screen shots where there's multiple me's. It happens, man. It's just a thing that happens. I will say, while the choreography is purposefully awkward, I do enjoy how in sync each of the versions of him are. When I did my music video, we didn't we didn't plan a choreography in the first video. There's technically two videos for it. In the in the main music video that I'm in with my friends Ben and Mike, who were technically my backing band, although mostly it was Ben. Uh, you know, they're just doing whatever moves they felt like in the moment. And then I shot a backing video for when I performed the song. So they're my backup dancers, so there's multiples of them. And that one they had the same choreography for to kind of keep it more smooth. Um, I appreciate them having uh, the same choreography in this so much. Um, it's definitely, it definitely adds to the aesthetic of the, of the pastiche. I finally get to you, I promise you that I will be the biggest mess that you've ever seen. Where's your house? <laughs> <laughs> I just can't find your house Oh girl, I could be your man But I'm not sure that I can Unless we only ever talk on the phone Where the hell is your home? <laughs> I don't know who the girl is Oh, perfect That is a great Britney impression. Uh, I love that they that she shot it herself. I wish she put it in. Turn, turned her phone. Here, here's the thing, people. Don't don't film like this unless it's the only way to film. Instagram stories. That's the only way you can film. Film sideways. I just did a music video covering Africa that I shot entirely on my phone. Sideways. Landscape view, sometimes they call it. Horizontally, not vertically. And, just as an editing standpoint, if that's how she's going to film it, blow it up in the background and put that over it so that you still have, you don't have the black bars on either side of it just to kind of finish out the image. So that, that's just an editing thing that I would do again. That's why it's a comedy musician reacts. I'm, I'm giving my perspective as another comedy musician on how I would do it, maybe. Um, again, still loving it, but the, this might be something that I might do, again. I 
find your house. I think you should consider moving. How did you get in here? Well, the door was open. <laughs> All right, so that was Jake DeWars, uh, Your House, uh, featuring Noelle Hoffman. Uh, I'm not familiar with who Noelle is, but got a great voice, does a great Britney impression. Uh, that was super fun. Uh, if you want to check out the video for yourself, or maybe check out any of Jake's stuff, the link is in the description. Uh, also, check out his stuff and a bunch of other artists like Kirby Crackle, Dan Vasek, Dan Vask, uh, sorry from the mispronunciation, Devo Spice, Cam3 from Wreck the System, TV's Kyle, myself, whole bunch of other artists on the Ninja Sex Party tribute album. That link is also in the description below and at the end of the video. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you like these videos, maybe consider liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing, all that fun stuff. Or if you really like it, consider supporting me on Patreon, where you get these videos ahead of time before anybody else. Plus, you also help me make other videos by the support there and other songs, because I do those things too. Anyway, enough of that. Thanks very much, everybody. We'll see you next time. Goodbye! Since